Stevie B. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm good, man. How about yourself? I'm fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Busy week, huh? Very busy week. The last two weeks have been very busy, but uh, it's all good. Uh, not complaining. We're just doing a lot at work, which is great. Dude, so. last week was the we shot the nurses ball. You weren't busy at all. Well, by the time this airs, it'll be two weeks I've been busy. Shut up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh you're right. Gosh. I was not busy. That was a great, you know, I only worked one day during yeah. that nurse's ball week, which is great. And I sat in the, the hospital bed, so it wasn't too strenuous. Um, but uh, yeah, you had, you, you had a bit of a, I, I got to say you, you had a bit of a, you had a bit of a fall on, on the bike. Yes, I did. I had a bit and of a fall. On, God, there's yeah. been a lot of, there's been a lot of speculation if that was going to spell the end for Jason Morgan. Well, that that was what seemed to be the rumor, right? Was uh, we were getting it from all sides. I couldn't believe it. I didn't understand. Everywhere. Like, and I don't I, know where I, it came from. I mean, yeah, I, I like. I wonder who. Yeah, where does where does that stuff start from? They're just like, oh, they see that you were in an accident. What if? What if? What if? Yeah, I guess maybe. I don't but know. But someone saw like on Google News, it reported that you were leaving. Yeah, but was it like one of the things that pops up on Facebook, like? You know, could have been from know. five years ago. Maybe so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. But I mean, maybe it depends no. on like what you subscribe to. If you, because exactly. you, you can, you can subscribe right. to Google alerts. Like you can say, you know, notify me whenever this comes up. There's news about this, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And then, and then the other thing was, is you going to wake up with Jason Quartermain's memories, or wake up with as Jason Quartermain? Well, which is fun. Which is funny too, because like. That, yeah. that is, like, where would that have come from? I I don't know. I that people are just speculating, dude. Listen, everybody's been cooped up, man. They're just trying to figure out some story. <laughs> totally, totally. You know. So um, now we just got to figure out who who crashed my bike, and then we'll go from there. So it was definitely, definitely some like shady stuff happening. Well, we I mean, look, it was some for sure. Some uh, uh, something happened for sure. Oh, do you know? Do I know? I actually don't know. Do you think the writers know? They know, and we're going to be finding out real soon because me and you are working together coming up here. Oh, so that's right. That's right. We're going to be we're going to be f- trying to figure that out, Jackal. We're on the case. Jackal PI back on the case. Oh, I love that. I love that. That'll be fun, right? Yeah. No, it's um, it's so great. It's so great to be back in the world. Uh, yeah. I, you know, it's so funny. I forgot that I had moved back <laughs> because you really haven't moved back to LA. So you, you forgot that you moved back. Well, it just like at, at the nurse's ball during the red carpet, um, Nina was like, Hey, so you, you know, it's, you move back. Like, it's nice to have you back in Port Charles. And I was like, when I read that, I was like, Oh my gosh, you're right. Right. Yeah. Because we, you know, when I come in, we don't always talk about me being in town. Right. Now you're in town. You're back. Well, I still kind of come and go as if I didn't live in town. (laughs) Right. Right. Um, I think a lot lot of people do, though, do or do also. That's true. I mean, I do live in a suburb of Port Charles. I don't like so my commute time is a little bit longer. So what 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 suburb would that be like? Ithaca or what is it called? Yeah. Ithaca. (laughs) Yep. That's it. That's the that's the term. Um, Church land. No, something landing. Oh, oh yeah! I don't know what that was. The landings. That's right. That's where Shiloh was, or something. Yeah, all the shady. They put all the shady characters. Oh, so, out there. so you're living in the town Shiloh, controlled, or something like that. Yeah, uh, Ellie got oh. no, or some, it or some, or something. Point. Oh, it might have been a point or a landing. That's right. It's a That's point right. or a landing. It's so certainly. Yeah, they're yelling at the radio right now, going, "What? No, it was different." Right. It's a point or a landing. It, it certainly has something to do with a waterway. Of some right. sort, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, so there is there is a, there's a mystery, there's a mystery that we have to suss out, which is good. This is good. We need a we need yeah. a case. We need a case. So just just give me a quick recap on the nurses' ball. How was it? I heard they gave a nod to the to the nurses and and the people. Yep, <laughs> nurses and the people. That's it. That it's like to say thank you to the nurses and the people, and the first responders. Yeah. Right. Well, because, so. you know, the nurse's ball has always been, you know, it, it, to to benefit AIDS charities. Sure. And I think this this, you know, this year they certainly tried to broaden that to pay awesome. tribute to 
all the people that uh, you know have have certainly kept us afloat over the last yes, however, for sure. For you know, um, but yeah, no, it was cool, man. Like I didn't, you know, since there's no audience, right? Like there was nobody in the crowd to watch the performances. Um, and, uh, you know, we were all in our, we were all in our little telephone booths or, you know, like you're in a little telephone booth. We were, we were, we were in conference rooms set up to be the call centers to take donations. Oh, and, cool. Uh, so you didn't gotta, actually see, you couldn't see the performances going on. No, no. Uh, and, okay, gotcha. um, you know, so they, they, they and who were you in a booth with Tristan? Uh, so Robert Scorpio, Max Scorpio, Anna Devane and Heinrich freaking Peter. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, yeah. first they put you, they put you to booth with a bunch of cops yeah. and Heinrich Peter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How is that even possible? <laughs> well, it certainly made for great reactions when Maxie's voice came over the hot mic saying, uh, "Now is not a great time to tell Peter I'm pregnant." Oh snap! The really? the, re- the reactions to each other and then everyone like stare, like everyone's turned got like the you? slow turn to Peter. Oh, Peter, Peter, Peter. And, uh, that's and, funny, dude. Yeah, I mean, no, who, it was great. That's like a bad, that's a bad, uh, wedding table arrangement there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Whoever planned that out, hadn't thought it out. Uh, yeah. no, it was great. But, well, cause also like, uh, you know, me and Robert Spinelli and Robert are kind of working together to try to figure out about Peter, which is great. Don't be oh, jealous. Good. Don't be wow. jelly. Working I'm a case, jelly. working a grace with a, a I case actually, I had no Robert. idea until you just told me. So I really don't care at all. Um, I call him Bob. Doesn't no, you don't. Bob Scorpio. That's what I call him. <laughs> that's, Bob Scorpio. That, that's his cousin, Bobby Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so actually, there is Bobby. a Bobby. Bobby Spencer. Bobby. No, with it. Bobby Bob. Spencer. Yeah. Bob. Hey, Bobby. What's going on, Bob. Bob. Put the shrimp Bobby. on the Bobby. Yeah, Tristan. Oh, well, sure, yeah. But um, so he and I. Where do you guys meet for lunch? The Outback. Yeah, that's right. We got a a bloom and onion. <laughs> yeah, do, do ya? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's um. So Nell, I don't know. I, I was I was doing some, you know, because I set up all the phone banks, obviously, because you know no one else in Port Charles can do any tech stuff. You know, so I, what? So I set up the phone wait, banks. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait. What? You? They had they had you set up the phone banks. Well, I volunteered. I imagine. I don't think they paid me. <laughs> no, I know that, but why would you even do that? That's not well, even because in your, I I, I do I, wires and stuff. Oh, wire, wires and stuff. Oh, wires, that's a new store. Spinelli wire, get open. Wires and stuff. Wires and whatnot, I think is what I'm going to call yeah, it. So the, 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 and whatnot. Kind of like bulbs and more. <laughs> like the battery store. Bulbs and batteries? Batteries plus. Batteries plus. There's a bulb. Is it bulbs and batteries? Batteries and bulbs? I don't know, bulbs. but who opens a battery store? Well, I mean, here's the thing. If you're, if especially if you're Seriously. going for, if you're going for specific kinds of batteries, yeah, and you're you like just, maybe but, the maybe the hardware store won't have all the kinds of batteries. It, I should go to a battery a whole, store. You're opening a whole store for a specific battery. Really? Yeah. Yep. No one's coming into your store. If they need batteries, they sure will. No, they won't. Nope. Well, here's Not the first. thing. Mo- like most things now use rechargeable batteries. Right, or even you my kids. Go to Amazon, dude. Come on. Let's well, stop no, but I'm batteries. saying even my kids' toys now. Are you plug them in? You're not getting. I know. I know. That's so true. Yeah. Batteries and more batteries plus. I don't. I wouldn't invest in that business model. No, not zero. So anyway, yeah. let's get back to the wires. No, and what I want to talk about batteries more. No. Um, yeah. So wires I set up. I set up the phone banks. I wired everything. And yeah. well, because also we're taking donations like over computer, right? So I set up the networking and all okay. that stuff, right? So I'm, I'm backstage and I'm tell- and I'm like, and I see Nell and Nell's on her little phone doing like some GPS stuff. And so I kind of like look over her shoulder like, hey, am I interrupting? What's going on? Right. Because she's right. working. She's working some angle because it's Nell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's definitely working right? some angle right now. Yes. And uh, and so she says, you know. And then all of a sudden she says, oh, you're probably just trying to sniff out Maxi. Like, that's why you're walking around trying to check up on Maxi. And I'm like, no, no, no. Why would I do that? And she's like, well, she's with that guy, Peter. He seems kind of shifty. And, and I say, why, 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 why do you think so? Thinking that I'm trying to draw her out here, right? Sure. And she, sure. We're, when I, in actuality, she's planting the seed, right? She just wants to get me off her back. So she wants to send me, send me on a little goose chase. Who knows if it's sure. a goose chase? Who knows? And that's the thing. And I asked Chloe when I when she when um, I asked Chloe when she uh, 
you know, when I was working with her, I was like, hey, do you know if this is true or are you just feeding me a line? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> so she'll play it as it's true then. Right. So, and yeah. she tells me that, you know, she, her ex-husband, Shiloh, I was like, her? Your yeah. ex-husband, Shiloh? Yeah. I, I, that was something you, I was unaware of. Nope, sure didn't. Um, okay, you missed that episode. Told me that he knew that Peter was behind, and I don't know, maybe you need to put on your Jason mufflers here. I don't want you to, I don't want, I don't want Jason to know this if it's, if Jason's not supposed to know it yet, but I would have told you, I think that, that Peter was behind the original abduction of Drew. Correct. I knew this. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, that, that's here, definitely not a news flash. Here. I thought I was getting something from you. Well, if you knew this, why didn't you tell me? I did off camera. You forgot. Oh, <laughs> And so then she, so, but then I think I have proof, like a, you know, a, a witness or whatever. And so I like, I get super excited and I run and tell Robert, Bob, um, he's having a nice conversation with Olivia and I'm like, sorry, Bob, I need to cut in here. Excuse me, and, Bob. Excuse me, Bob. I, I, I need to cut in here. And then I tell him, I'm like, we got him. We got him. We got him dead to rights. We got him. We got him. He spilled the tea. As they say, so, they, he spilled the tea all over him. Spilled it as all. As the kids say. As the, the kids say. Spilled the tea. Um, so, uh, yeah. So he. So that's that. And then, and then, we're, we go into our phone bank, and Maxie gets over the hot mic. So Got it. you know, we 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 in theory watched. We smile like they read Lucy's lines over. Oh so yeah. We, so right. You know, we so could react you, to in her. Theory, from the phone bank, you can see this stuff, right? But they didn't—they okay. didn't have us react to the performances, right? Right. You know, so I, I mean, don't that's know. Really not your job. You're supposed to take calls, right? I suppose you're right. Yeah. So you should. But be normally, about the performance. But, but normally, the fun thing that you, normally they want to—the whole point of some of these this material is to have the audience relate to the material and react. Yeah, but right. It's if it's a song about breakups, then the people that just recently broke up in the audience look at each other yes. forlorn and question whether or not they should have broken up. If it's well, a maybe super... maybe they did that in other phone banks. You don't know. Well, if they if they uh, you guys they... weren't the only ones in a little phone booth, right? I, I, it would have to be a pretty specific song for like me and Robert to glance at each other and like. Well, no, I'm <laughs> saying I'm sure there was a booth that had. Carly and someone else in there and somebody else in there, right? Where was uh, Sam? Maybe so, maybe so. Right. I know yeah. like Lulu oh. and Dustin and all the people. Right. Right. You know. Right. Um but yeah. uh um so yeah, I guess there wasn't anybody in our room that could have looked at each other, you know, and and had that kind of knowing kind of like you know, a little look in their eye where like, yeah, that thing that, that person's singing about, I feel that about you. Okay. So, so, so we're now we're gonna move on. Sorry you missed it. Are you? Yeah, super sorry you missed it. I was in a hospital bed chilling, so I was good. Yeah, you got a nice you got a nice haircut was, from that. Yeah, I did get a nice haircut. Yeah, it's pretty the, nice. The only person in town. The only, <laughs> I know. I was like, man, I saw Chad Duell's hair. I'm like, dude, what happened? I mean, I said, nah. are you matching? From when we left, he goes, heck no. I go. That hair is out of control, man. Out of control. Yeah. Out of control. So, so but I mean, I, I know we're not, I know we're not talking in Port Charles about the pandemic, but maybe we're just trying, maybe just, you know, the powers that be said, hey, let's, you know, let's commiserate with our viewing audience. They can't get haircuts. So, um, just Steve Burton can get a haircut, <laughs> but he got a, but he got, but you got a haircut by the amazing barbers at the hospital. Yes. I mean, uh, it was probably epiphany. She gave me a haircut. Yeah, and she probably wasn't too uh, discerning about. No, she just they, they cut it and they sliced my head open. That was it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And, and uh, but the special effects people did a great job on the scar, by the way. Yeah, so, they sure did. They sure did. They yeah. really did. They so, did. but it's it's um, nice. It was so nice to have the nurses ball be, you know, kind of be the first to have that right when we came back. Kind of to kind of almost feel like you know we're celebrating being back in a way which is nice yeah it's cool and we're ramping up on the show to do a lot of stories a lot of good stuff's coming coming up here the next couple of months so we're excited yeah for sure yeah, uh, yeah have you how far have you read ahead am i in it uh no i haven't read that far ahead dude 
right. at all. I'm sure you'll be in it. I'm sure you'll be in it. Yeah, we'll see. Speaking of uh, you and I, uh, we're probably going to have to reschedule some of these shows coming up for I know. You know um, for October. I'm not sure yet, but we're working we're, on we're, it. We're getting prepared. We don't want to. We're, we're getting wanna, prepared. We're we want to be ahead. We want to be ahead of it so that we're not you know, scrambling it, it, and that people aren't wondering. And you know, we don't want people to you know be a couple weeks out and not be able to plan. Yeah. Well, know? so we're going to give people plenty of notice. Um, but you know, like governors who we love, love Jimmy at governors, right? Yeah. In Long Island. And this guy jumped through hoops, dude, to reopen, right? Cause New York had some pretty stringent guidelines and he did sure. everything. You saw what he did. I showed you the plastic yeah, the out- partitions, totally. the outdoor thing, all this stuff. And they just closed them down. Oh no, really? You know? And I'm like, why are they closing this guy down? He's done everything like perfect to the T. He right. even like, like Long Island, the city he's in, what is it? Where's uh, he? Levittown, I think. Levittown was like awesome, great, right? Because yeah, and and uh, so they just shut him down, and and it was kind of like, why are they shutting him down? They're let like gyms are open, but they can't. They don't have. They won't let the outdoor comedy go. It's crazy, man. There's no. There's no like. There's no through line, and hey, you can be open, but you can't. But you can. But I just feel bad because I, I've been talking to Jimmy a lot, and he's like, man, I've done everything possible, like everything, followed every guideline, done every single thing, and they shut him down. So just uh, Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting outside in the humid weather of New York in August, that would keep me away, <laughs> let alone well, COVID. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you haven't been out for a long time, it That's could true. be good to That's get true. out. So anyway, yeah. but we're going we're gonna to keep you guys in the loop, um, you know, hopefully— well, we will be back on the road at some point for sure. Absolutely. So that's, yeah. Uh, that's but in the meantime, you know, we're having so much fun. Uh, you know, we're recording YouTube shows two, three times a week and certainly keeping each other entertained. And yep. uh, hopefully some of you guys, too. In the, at the very least, it keeps us entertained. Uh, <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so, you know, if you haven't been over to our YouTube page, you can uh, find some nonsense over there. Um, a lot of uh, nonsense with some of nonsense. other pretty cool people. We've done like 24 or 25, seven questions. So go check that out. And we got some good guests coming up. Can't wait. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're excited to talk to this fellow who uh, people thought people thought he had perished. Has yes. he? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's talk to the real 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 Real. Detective Taggart. Well, it doesn't feel like too long ago that we were talking to this man about his triumphant return to the campus of General Hospital. Uh, That's right. And then, and then, uh, then of course, um, Taggart Anxiety. experienced some yeah, that, um, misfortune. Yeah, that, he was, that he was shot. So then that yeah. happened. Or yeah. so, but now, but now we're here, and something else is going on. And here he is. And Real, what's Real, up, dude? Real Andrews, De- Detective Taggart, or maybe just Taggart. Taggart now. I don't know if you're a detective still, but he's dude, back on the you, canvas, baby. Are you serious, Steve? It's lieutenant. It's been lieutenant for 19 years, brother. He still oh, wants to degrade me and call me detective. It's, wait, hold on, hold on. It's always been lieutenant Taggart? No, it's not always been lieutenant, okay? Listen, listen. I am. You said okay. that for the last 19 de- years. I was detective, right? And this sure. is a funny story. So then I remember I'm reading my script one day, preparing, and up comes... um. Um, oh, what was the quarter, your, your brother? In the AJ? AJ comes up and he says, hey, congratulations, Lieutenant, on your promotion. I got so fired up, I called my mom. I said, mom, you're not gonna believe it. I got a promotion, I'm a Lieutenant. She goes, son, you're acting. And, <laughs> uh, but then it, be, it became a running joke on the show. I That's don't, funny. I it because every time people would come up to me, they'd say, hey, what's up, Detective? And I'd be, it's Lieutenant, brother. Hey, you know what, dude? You know, I bet what happened is, they wrote it for an episode and never tracked it again. Maybe. I don't know. Right, but I right? am a lieutenant, okay? Why, why, would a, okay? why would AJ know? AJ was never a cop, yeah, was that's a weird. That's a weird guy to say I don't know, but he was the one who said congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the town funny. drunk's like, hey, man, you're a lieutenant. And you believed him? Hey. <laughs> hey, you won't be busting me anymore. You're a lieutenant. Mm-hmm. That's right. I won't that's see right. you at the bar anymore, Taggart. You're a lieutenant. <laughs> that's right. So, right. dude, you're back. Right. Yes, sir. Let's, mm-hmm. let's talk about, you know, you don't have to get into specific details, but uh, what's it feel like? How, you know, did you get the call? You're like, 
So how, how to kind of go down, you know, whatever you can tell, because I know there's a little, little inside the business here that sometimes we can't speak about, but sure, you yeah, are no, back. Yeah, no, I am back. Hashtag Taggart's back, we're saying. And, and you know, it's a blessing, <laughs> Steve. As you know, we were talking about this on the, the other day on the set, you know, when I, you know, got the blessing to come back, you know, who, how often do we get uh, a second chance, right? And then I got killed, and but this is a third chance. And, and I'm grateful and be honest with you, um, it's, 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 I don't like to call them fans. It's the, the GH champions, hands down because of them, you know, um, I'm back. And then, you know, I'm grateful to Frank and the crew of, you know, hearing it and listening to me because they do have the final word, but sure. absolutely the fans were a big part of this for sure. Yeah. Wow. And I think, I think, uh, I think you made such a, I mean, obviously you being on the show before and, and we had such a history, me, you and Maurice, uh, our characters did. Um, and I think when you came back, I don't know if the new players, so to speak, understood kind of the history of Sonny and Taggart, right? So, no. and then the fans went crazy and now all of a sudden they're like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have shot him. <laughs> no, no, yeah. uh, no and, and you're absolutely right. Because to be honest with you, Steve, I didn't even see the the magnitude to be honest with you i i was i was so humbled you know when i first came back the response i was like wow dude you know i was excited to come back but i didn't really see that and then you know yeah. once again the writers the producers they really helped out because taggart was always the one note you're going down you have the right to remain silent but then all of a sudden i come back dude and i got a daughter I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm dude, working with Jason and, 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 and Sonny. So they gave me all of these colors all of a sudden. Yeah, and they killed me. Yeah, <laughs> right. And that's right. So I know I haven't let Bradford talk at yeah. all so far. No, but, this is good. I like to be but, here and watch. But, I was, <laughs> <laughs> but I, was, I, I was thinking about it, Real. I was thinking, I go, I go, this time that you're back now, it's so awesome to see. And obviously, you're a fantastic actor, but we just did some scenes that everybody should tune in for, me, you, and Maurice, and especially you and Maurice. But it's so awesome to see a character like yours who could be seen as one note all of a sudden have layers and have basically evolution. So you had this whole evolution while you were off camera, right? <laughs> and all of a sudden, the you best were the evolutions always are. Yeah, but but it, <laughs> totally. I had Let so me play many. It. Let Brad, me play it. Come on, Bradford. I had so many Emmy award-winning performances off camera. You don't even <laughs> believe it. <laughs> well, Bradford had some on camera, and it didn't work out. So That's anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. There's no guarantee. No, bro. but but I thought I was thinking about it today on my run. I was like, man, this guy's really evolved. Like he's got he's got stuff to play. It's not just. It's such a. It's so great to see another side of Taggart, where you and Sonny can connect to the human side. That's how you guys are connecting now on a human level. You both have kids. You both want to protect your families. So that's what's cool. Well, yeah. And uh, hey, listen, man, don't take yourself out of the equation because I honestly do. Th this thing is, and it's a whole different level, really, all of us. It it's crazy. I know, but it's, we all know, you know, I know, I, I don't know too much about Bradford, but I know me and Steve have a lot in common on that level. Dude, it's, 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 a God's thing for sure. God's all over this one. Dude, for yeah. sure. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how long was this break? It was five months. Um, well, you know, the pandemic extended it. Um, sure. You know, I knew I didn't like, and a lot, a lot of the fans were like, you knew, you know, I didn't know, dude, I was dead. You were a dead man. Yeah, I was dead. Um, I so, mean, we, we said goodbye. You were yeah. dead. We said, come on. I'll never forget yeah, that day in the hall. Steve said, I said, dude, um, this is my last show. And he was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And, and then, that, and was then, like, and then I, that, blind, that blindsided me. I was like, what? Blindsided no. me too, brother. Yeah. And, and there, there was no way that this was all part of the plan, right? No, no, it was no, not this, part this of is the a plan. U, this is a U-turner of sorts. Yeah, absolutely. It was not. It was over. It was done. Tagger was dead, and it was awesome, and it was great. And, you know, when I was finished being blindsided, you know, but I was extremely grateful, and it was what's next. Sure. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, boom. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and, and you, I mean, you yeah. and you have a, a a wonderful regular routine of stuff that you do, so it's not like you were just like, Oh no. Like you, 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 you get back into your, your, I, obviously everyone's routine was upended this year. Um, but I know you reach a lot of people 
you know, via the, via the internet anyway. And so, so it was just back to, back to regular life. So now is this a jolt coming back in that sense? Like, like, did you get, once you got like, kind of like, okay, well that's done. Uh, that, that section, that piece is done. I'm back doing, and that's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot, Bradford. The uh, it, but but it's all good, you know. That's of course, how we, yeah. we just roll in. But yeah, it was, you know, one minute you're here, and you're then your next minute you're there, and then this pandemic thing, and then you know the common denominator that that I have for me is those stairs. <laughs> those those stairs are my saving grace. It really is, you know. It's it's become so much a part of my life. You know, I like to actually get there at three in the morning now, just because I want to get there by myself. And actually, it was really cool this morning, dude. I run up the stairs. I go to this place where I put all my stuff out, and I'm putting my mat over the thing. And there, and all of a sudden, I'm like, because it's pitch dark, and I'm like, whoa, dude. And I like, I carry this knife with me just in case, you know. And I go there, and I look, dude. It's a deer, dude. He's like six feet, and he's like just hanging awesome. there. And I'm like, whoa, what's up, brother? And he goes, hey, Taggart, you're back, man. Good to see you on the TV yeah. show. <laughs> and, was, and now you get some venison in the freezer. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can make make Jason a new leather coat. Oh, hey, dude, what happened to your – well, listen, well, you, I got know what, coat, you know what happened to his coat, right, Bradford? Because no. like, gun, those guns, dude, he can't get a jacket on those things. Oh, get out of here, Come dude. Come on, dude. So I mean, dope. serious. Like, we're, we're shooting the other day, and I'm like, dude, you're in my shot, dude. Can you move, can you move that <laughs> arm, like, that's dude? just my delt. <laughs> yeah. Like, his back. Are you, like, are you renting car space on that stuff or what, buddy? <laughs> That's what we're going to start advertising. Cameraman try to do over the shoulder and his trapezius is just like. <laughs> we're going to start they're sponsors. Like, oh we're gonna, instead of product placement, they're going to actually write the product on my back. Yeah, but you should take an ad out on his back, Bradford. For <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah well, usually right, I have man. a t-shirt on with our logo on. So, That's but, right. Man, it's, it's so right. great. I Listen, we'll, we're going to have you on again because I really want to kind of dig in deep on, mm -hmm. you know, because the, just the, uh, I just got to give you a lot of credit, man. Um, just the way you handled being blindsided, because it's not an easy thing, whether you say it's easy or not or whatever. We, I, we all know that's not easy. When, when, you're, when you're at the height of a, wow, I'm back, and this is amazing, and like the, the history's there, and we're doing great scenes, and we're kicking ass, and then you're like, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm like, what? So yeah. that's a bit of a deflation, and then you, then you have the whole pandemic to deal with, you know, and the roller coaster that ride can be, you know, and then getting news, hey, you're coming back. You're like, holy crap. So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of going, there's a lot going on there, dude, for sure. But you handle it amazing, man. You always do. So I can't wait for, for uh, I, hopefully, Spinelli and Taggart. Uh, yeah. That would, that no, would be I'm, something. Th no, I'm, I'm looking, I was thinking that just the other day. When are we going to like, because that would be kind of like, because Spinelli could be like, kind of like, you complete me. My name. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see Taggart and Spinelli rolling together, right? What do you think? That, hey, I, well, hey I, hold I'm, on. <laughs> you're, crossing my, you're crossing the line with my girlfriend there, buddy. Watch out. Well, Watch I mean, out, Steve, Steve wants every storyline, so. Um, no, I don't. No, <laughs> trust me. Those days are over, sir. <laughs> Those days are over. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's great. Well, man, it's so great about. to reconnect with you. And so we're so happy that you're, you know, you're, you never left the team, but now you're back on those on, on the bench. So it's great. Yeah. It's awesome. Dude. Awesome. And a uh, quick shout out guys. I am actually starting my Taggart's back tour. I will be in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Bama, September 1st. I'll be in Memphis, Tennessee, September 4th. So stay tuned. I'll have a uh, sweet dude. Details on that. Yeah. I'm going to get out there roll tide. I'm a big roll tide fan, but I appreciate All right. you guys. All Thank right, you guys out, for uh, bringing me in, and uh, I'll see you guys around. All right, awesome. check check uh, Rail out on Twitter and uh, yep. Instagram. At Rail what is Andrews. it? What is it? At Rail Andrews, at my name, at Rail Andrews. Awesome. Or you can brother. go to my website, railandrews.com, and it's all there. All right. Cool. Wicked. Okay. Thanks, dude. Right. You're Thank awesome, you. Rail. Thank you. Love having Tagger back, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great, man. I think he's uh he's he's a great, I guess, adversary, uh, for us. But his character's growing, which is cool. And um, do we know? You know we're we're kind of working together to get Cyrus out of the picture. So it's it's a good thing, and I'm glad he's back. And he had some really good stuff. We Maurice and I did some scenes, uh, us three, and he he did some really good good really good work too. So we're excited. Okay, so he is alive. He is alive. How do they explain that? They do. Awesome. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Stay tuned. Okay, great. Stay no, tuned. I love that. I love that. I just wanted to double check. Um, yes. Great. Stay tuned. Awesome. Good to be- Welcome back, Taggart. Tremendous. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, now, very pleased that we have another edition of Passions or Florida Man. Or for this one, I'm going to call it Harmony or Florida because it's it's not Florida Man. It's Florida. Okay. So, like, okay. Harmony or Florida. Right. Harmony is where um, where it took place, where Passions took place. Okay, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two headlines. You're gonna give me two headlines. One's gonna be from a soap opera. One's gonna be from real one, life, and I have to guess which one it is. Yeah, I'm gonna read both of them, and you have to decide okay. which one happened in Harmony, Harmony, Maine, or Harmony wherever Passions took place. Okay, and which one took place in Florida? Okay, dude. You got dude, it. I don't know why the craziest crap happens in Florida, but. It well, does. We're so grateful it does, as long as people don't get hurt. Um, but okay, number one: woman traps pregnant woman in pit, fakes her own pregnancy by using a sack of flour, steals baby, successfully passes it off as her own. That's the first one. Woman gets married to a Ferris wheel after feral, failed relationships with an airplane and a train. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing if is one of these is real. One of these is real. That's the sad thing here. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, the, 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 first of all, all right, the first one is Harmony. The second one's Florida. What made you think that? Let's just go into that, it a little bit, and then I'll give you the I'll give you the answers. I just want to hear your reasoning behind your thoughts, and then we'll read the actual story. Well, because I, soap operas could be really silly and outlandish, sure. but I don't think they'd ever have somebody marry a Ferris wheel or an airplane or an airplane. <laughs> okay, we've done some crazy stuff before, but I'm not marrying a motorcycle. <laughs> well, okay, not I mean, publicly, that, not yet, not yet. Yes. Yeah, so. I, I mean, I don't know. Your relationship with motorcycles, there is something intimate about mounting a bike. Well, let's calm down now. Let's calm down. I'm just saying, down. you yes. know, if you're going to have a relationship with a Ferris wheel or an airplane. Yeah, I'm not the, sure how you have a, a, a relationship with Well, but Ferris. I'm saying it's more, it's easier to have a relationship with a motorcycle. Sure. To have relations with if a motorcycle. You're, if, you're, if you're a weirdo, yes. I, I'm just saying. Uh, okay. So, okay. So, so, okay. So that's the reasoning. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me come. Go ahead. Okay. He was tall with limbs of steel. Definitely the strong silent type. And when he lifted up her up in his arms, her heart pounded with excitement. This is not true. Linda. I, I'm not going to say her last name. It's in a news thing, but knew her parents would never approve her of her latest boyfriend. It was a 40-foot tall Ferris wheel, after all. But then they say love knows no bounds. Come on, man. Linda first encountered the skydiver ride, which she named Bruce, naturally. In 1982, she was instantly what? smitten and ran away to join the, cir- the carnival so she could be with him. No. Yes. Um, it was damaged in a storm in 1986. She had it, she had restored, she had it restored 25 years later. Um, she has a condition known as objectum. Sexuality. Objectum sexuality. Okay. They married in Florida. Are they allowed to get married? It says the couple married in Florida, and at the time, Florida prohibited same-sex marriage, but evidently you could still marry marry a carnival, right? <laughs> so, amazing. so yes, that was that that was that was Florida. That was the one. Wow. That was the one. And this, uh, so yes, so, and then in Passions, it was the character of Beth Crane, um, played by Kelly McCarty, when Sheridan's pregnancy was announced. This is something we should talk about with Gail Gehring, who's back on, um, I know, he's back. That was quick. That was great. Great for him. I remember when we talked to him earlier in the year. Yeah, he was, uh, it didn't seem like he was going to go back anytime soon, and he's back. Okay. So when Sheridan's pregnancy was announced, Beth went so far as to kidnap her with the help of Nurse Charlie and kept her in a basement pit while faking her own pregnancy. Luis, who was Galen, um, 
who had passed out after being drugged by Beth, had no reason to suspect he was not the father of a child he believed it existed. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, this You don't is... even have to stop reading it. Right. Just um, stop. We already right. had the punchline. A lady married a Ferris wheel. A lady married a Ferris wheel. <laughs> what's next? <laughs> yes, what's next? Right. All right. So that wow. was another another edition old, of Harmony or Florida. Florida, Passions or Florida Man. Uh, that's always a good time for us. And good old we can't Florida, wait man. to go back to good Florida. Florida. Yes. Um, all right. We have some questions. Thank you for people that sent in your questions. This question from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, my best friend and I were at your San Francisco show. Uh, we loved it. You couldn't have been sweeter. Here's my question. When GH is preempted due to breaking news, do you actors get an extra day off at some point to let the shows that air catch up to the show that had to air a day later? Which I thought was a good question because this year we've had plenty of breaking news uh, cut-ins. Lot, you, know, yes. you know, a lot well, of... A lot of... Yes, uh, yes but no. The, the short answer is no, we don't get the day off. No, no, because so we're they so... Just, I, so yeah. I don't even know how that works. Like in local markets, they, do yeah. they just air that show the next day and that market is behind? I don't know. I don't think or so. Do they say, hey, watch it tonight at 2 a.m. and then that, they air the I right think that's show the it. next I think it would be too hard to keep it all organized. I think they just... Yeah, I, 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 think, I, I think I remember seeing with Young and the Restless, like if something was preempted, they'd say, watch it on CBS.com tonight. Right. So they can stay on track for, you know, all the shows. So Right. And that that... I, that is on that, that is must be really hard and yeah i was just gonna think that i'm like i don't know who keeps track of that stuff well and also like if you're you know uh, I, I, even if you're a, a a dedicated viewer of general hospital you might not always pay attention to when it's going to come on like you just assume it's going to be on at the time and then if it's not on you know like rearranging your day so you can watch it at 2 a.m or like that it's just I, I know it's been i know it's been a challenge for people and we certainly appreciate you guys uh finding us no matter what, yeah. or at least forgiving us when you miss a day. I mean, that's the <laughs> right. great thing. That's the great thing about General Hospital is that we don't, you know, we are not, uh, we don't move on quickly from story to story. No, uh, and we often catch you up if you haven't been watching. Anyhow, in the scene, in the scene. So <laughs> in the scenes, a lot of recap. Yeah, a lot of that's recap. Sure. But that's all right because it's it's useful for us because, uh, yeah, when we don't know a storyline. We end up having to say it. So it works out. <laughs> works right. out. Um, this is from Kathleen. She recently saw us in Denver. Four years ago, GH did a couple live episodes. If they were to do that again, how would you feel about going live? Nervous? Excited? Nauseous? Um, you weren't in the live Nauseous. episode that many years ago, right? Were no. you in it? I, y- no. I wasn't in it. Uh, personally? Yeah. Uh, well, during, during the, these times, that's not going to happen again, obviously. Sure. Um, it'd be very difficult for it to happen again. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know, man. I, I guess it would be, it's a novelty, right? Yeah. It'll, it, it, it'd get everybody out on their a game for sure. Oh my like, gosh. There's no I, yeah, room I think for I, error. It, I would be super nervous, but I would be, I'd be really excited about it. I'd be so excited too. So, I mean, look, I, w- that's why we love doing our live shows, right? Because it's yeah the the adrenaline rush, like ah, we're going live, and uh, so it, it, I guess it would be cool. Um, I'd be definitely nervous about it, but I'd be super prepared, and I'm already prepared. So I know I but I we'd be the, rocking and roll. You know what's so funny is that it 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 feel it, you'd be super anxious about it, but ultimately the, performing it wouldn't feel all that different. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, no. it's not like you're gonna feel the millions of people's eyes. What no, would be... it wouldn't be different. What would be, what would be different is getting your way out of it. Sure. Like if you mess if you messed up, there's no fixing. There's you know with with uh, when we're taping it, you just say okay, stop. They'll go okay, pick it up from this place. You can't pick it up. You got to go. Well, that's true. So the so the improv uh, the improvisation is where. Yeah. That that would be the scary part, right? You know what would be amazing, which I know it's impossible because we work all year and the the licensing of it would be hard, but it would be so cool if the, if the writing team and production was all behind it, if they did, if they wrote kind of a standalone episode that didn't tie into storyline, but they wrote a standalone episode for maybe 
eight to ten characters. Sure. And wrote an hour long play, a general hospital yeah. play. Yeah. You could tour that. It'd be amazing. I, I've, I've thought about it ten years ago. I know, but like, yeah, I, it, would I, be, I, it would be fun. Well, I mean, if we only did a twenty-two episode season, oh yeah, you, it'd, be, it'd you, be amazing. You could do something sure. like that. Yeah, but, absolutely. But I don't know what the rights, like. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. It, it. It. First of all, it would be very difficult to do, probably, just sure. because of the rights in in itself. So. Right. Right. Because it would be cool to take this nurses' ball on the road. Yeah, it sure would. I and mean, we've you talked know, about all, that. Yeah, well, we've talked about that with all the performances. You can raise money for charity. Yeah. All kinds of good things could come from that, you know. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll worry about you and I. <laughs> That's all we can control. That's all we can um, control. All right. Francine wants to know, have either of you forgotten your lines and said something else and the directors kept it in the finished episode? All the time. <laughs> Well, because you know, uh, every, everyone always well, especially, asks, especially you, because of the jargon that you use. So yeah, yeah, you know, like um, there, there's been times where it was just the other, it was just the other day, and I, 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 I booted the beginning of my line, and they kept it, and I know it'll be in there. Like I was hoping they would edit around it, but um, you know, but and the thing is with me, like my character talks so fast. And if I say, if I say anything that remotely sounds like it would fit, and the story continues, they don't care. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, sh show of hands out there, how many people have watched the show, not been able to hear my words clearly, and still not know what I was saying, and not <laughs> and not thought to yourself, oh, that's probably a mistake. Yeah. Show of hands. Yeah. So everybody. Let the um, record show everyone is raising their hand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. But um, is there for, for you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I actually just did a phone call uh, yesterday, and I know I mumbled a, a word up, right? Yeah. I know. I know. I jumbled it for sure. Yeah. And they kept it. Sure. And they moved on. You're a mumbler anyway. Well, sort of. I mean, not as well, bad as Maurice. Sure. But I remember when I came on, I remember when I came on the show and I was, you know, working mostly with you and Kelly and, and I was like, wow, they really talk really quietly. Yeah. And I didn't at all. And I, no, I, I, no. um, straight from Broadway. Hey, but it's <laughs> funny. I, I'm not sure. I don't think, it, I don't know if you retweeted or something. I saw that, that scene. Remember in Kelly's old apartment or Sam's old, um, what they call it? They didn't call it a penthouse. Did they, they call hers a penthouse? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Um, when she was on the couch and um, I, I got my hands behind my back, but I haven't been put in the closet yet. And um, you're like, how are we going to clear our names? This is, we only, we only got this guy. And I, and I kind of like pitch a, um, a uh, indecent proposal. The old, oh. the old Robert Redford, Demi sure. Moore. Oh, and, another Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Bob, Bob Redford. <laughs> and, and that's when you, that's when you, uh, stuffed some cloth down my in my throat and put me in the closet. That was the best day ever. Yeah, that was the only time you've ever truly got me to shut up. <laughs> yeah. Can we do that again right now? Yeah, right. No, I don't, I, a virtual, a virtual, a virtual gag. Well, tomorrow we're working together, so I can do it tomorrow. That's right. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for your questions. Um, and now. It is time for mean tweets. Wow, bring it back! Oh man! All right, you so um, your bird. What's that? Did you find a couple? I did. Um, Hundreds. There's always there. There's always a well of them. How deep you want to go is up to you. Sure. Right. Go ahead. Hit, hit me. Okay. So your birthday was a few weeks ago. Well, about a month and a half now. I guess yeah. a little over a month ago. Sure. Um, so this one, this one's just clear and to the point. It was in a response to, I think, uh, most of the mean tweets are in response to our boss usually. So I, oh, I, okay. I think it was, I think it was a, I think it was, you know, happy birthday, Steve Burton. And sure. w one of the, one of the responses was just clear and to the point. Happy 65th, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that's funny. <laughs> 
That's funny. I, I like love it. that. It, it just it was like in the it, it just I it, it just felt like something I would have said. It, it's funny. It's funny. And I, I really appreciated it. I just it, what, it, it, listen, if you're gonna make a joke like that, that's funny. And if you're trying to be mean, that's funny too. But sure. just show me just show me a picture of yourself first. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um but anyway, it just it just you know, I, I really enjoyed that one. That so. was a good one. Now good this one. one this one is more this one is more recent. Um did the moss eat the sides of Steve Burton's head? This buzz cut <laughs> is the worst. Talking about that's, your buzz cut. That's funny because uh, uh actually it's one of the greatest haircuts and fades ever. For real. Because Hair people at GH were like, holy crap, who did this fade? It's perfect. Who did it? I have a barber. Oh, I thought they well, I thought they like maybe and, bicked and the side of your and bicked the side no. of your head. Huh? They didn't bick the side of your head where the scar was? No, no. She did a perfect fade. Like the barber did a perfect fade from zero up to a one. Wow. So it was bald here. And then yeah. up, and it was perfect. She did, she did, and it's it's a it's a friend of mine. She's awesome, and she's a great barber, and she crushed it. So, wow. So, so. you could take your mossy balls. I'll take your mossy balls. <laughs> but I love that. Did the moss eat the sides? They are flesh eating. It's a flesh eating moss. Careful, Sonny. Yes. You have a flesh eating moss, or at least a hair eating moss in your kitchen. Um, well, they could have said when, when I first became Jason Morgan, my yeah. head did look like the Mossy Ball Bowl. The Mossy Ball sure. Bowl, right. Yeah, for the Chia Pet, for the sure. Chia, yeah, the Chia Pet and the, uh, the Monchi Chi. Monchi Chi and the Chia Pet, that's Monch, right. Monchi, Monch, Monchia Pet. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's um, this, this was, uh, this, was uh, this next one was in response to another Frank tweet, so... That's usually where I go now is just to look at if it's a Frank tweet that mentions it's you or me. Yeah. In the comments, sure. there's uh, what a, about you? No, it's, it's about you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. ready. Um, will Jason stay in the hospital or bolt to the ball? Stacy says, unless he bolts right back into the harbor, hard pass. <laughs> oh, ouch. Ouch. But I like that one too. That was well constituted. That was well constructed. I, I thought that was a that was a nice that was a nice retort. Sure. Yeah. 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 So, yeah I mean, I'll go back. I'll go back to the harbor. Yeah. Just for a nice I'll swim. I'll cannonball right in there. It'd be do nice. We ever talk, do we ever talk about the um, pollution in the harbor? Is that ever an issue? I don't think we've ever spoken about the pollution. I we probably because. Well, well, I, is there any other industries in in Port Charles that like? I mean, they, we got to have a in the heart besides bodies. <laughs> Decomposing bodies is not great to swim next to either. No. Um, but is, is there? There's got to be a power plant. There's got to be sure. some oil tankers. There's got to be oh, yeah. some. So it's just like uh, what's the like Springfield on on Simpsons, right? That's what it looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Big is, nuclear. Is that what nucle- it, is that nuclear? The name of Simpsons? Yeah, where where Homer works, the nuclear. Yeah, in Springfield. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that's poor Charles. Well, maybe that's why people never die is because like our our river is radioactive. Maybe. Yeah, that's the anti aging river. They get they just, regenerated. They that's right. That's right. Right. Um. So this next tweet, it it, it, it has nothing. It's not mean, but well, it's a um, lot of tweets. Well, but <laughs> so this this person just doesn't seem to understand what soaps are about. Is this is this your closer? Well, I mean. It's the last. It's the last one. I'm not sure okay. it's gonna bring the house down. It's not about that. No, but I just wanted. I just wanted to like, you know, um, people talking about Peter, and someone said, "Please redeem Peter. Let Maxie be happy for once." And I, and I Ouch. just thought. I just thought to myself, I'm like, what show do you think you're watching? Yeah. Like, it's a soap opera. We're not supposed to be like. It's not supposed to be the Care Bears. Do you know? <laughs> No, I mean it, nobody's ever happy for for a long, long amount of time. Yeah, like you, no. you can be you can be happy in bits and spurts, but sure. then a couple weeks. I think a couple weeks max. Well, like you're happy when you overcome something, and then so sure. you let the audience enjoy them overcoming something, right? But then you got to set something else up in their place for them but to Spinelli overcome. But Spinelli and Maxie were pretty happy at some point for a while. 
No? Well, I mean, we didn't have a lot of stories about being happy. Right, but you had a decent run where you guys were together. Well, but it was the the whole run, the whole run that was that was what people enjoyed was us like the push and pull of Right. You know, like right. the adventures that we went on, like, right. you know, the um and then coming back to each other when things went awry, you know, like you know. Like right. yeah. I mean, we were never you know, we were never Sam and Jason in that, like, we're, we, they never showed a happy home life. Yeah, we had a happy home life for a while, and then, and then things went, went south, so I don't know. Well, and, you know. but I mean, because, like, yes, we had a kid, but we never lived in, you know, because right. sometimes they make the kids the challenge, or kids are a challenge. Yeah, it's, it's, either, yeah, it's either a situation's the challenge, or another person's going to be the challenge, right? Right. So... For me, for me and uh, Jason and Sam, it was always the danger was the challenge or right. an enemy or something. It wasn't a person trying to break our relationship up, essentially, sure. right? Sure. Well, you so. had some back and forth with other people. Um, yes, yes. I mean, not not like a threesome, not like a back and forth <laughs> with other pe- with other people. With other people, yes. Um, me and Son, me and Sonny, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so Saison, Saison lives. Saison lives. Saison, Saison. That's right. Um, so yeah, let Maxi be happy for once. Wrong show. Wrong <laughs> show. Not with so, Peter, but not well. Uh, yeah, we'll see what yeah. happens. Stay oh, tuned, man. folks. Yeah. So, uh, with Faison's grandson. <laughs> yeah, right. Pregnant I with Faison's grandson. Woo! Keep it going. That speaking of chia pets, that kid's gonna come out looking like a troll. I mean that. <laughs> well, wait, that hair's well, gonna be amazing. Well, wavy hair. It's gonna. The hair's she's, gonna be amazing. Hey, congratulations! You just gave birth to Sideshow Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Sideshow. Another Bob. Another Bob. We're, we're Bob heavy this show. <laughs> we're bobbing. Oh man. Bobbing awesome. and weaving. Awesome. Well, hey, right. it's great to visit with you. Thank you everybody for oh, listening. Man. Yeah, um, thank you guys so much. It's so fun. Check out all of our offerings. I think this is video I think and this otherwise. Is the most we've talked, I think this is the most we've talked about General Hospital ever. By the way. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> it's only been two years, right? It's almost, almost three. Yeah, almost three. We, so. we know, we, guys. We love talking to guests, but um, you know, we we realize that one of the things that we were missing was talking to each other because we talked That's we right. talked to each other on our YouTube page and whatnot. But uh, we just wanted to. We kind of wanted to get back to. You know, every now and then, get back to the, get back to the roots. Get back, back to our to the roots. Chat. That's right, buddy. Yeah. So have a great have a great week, everybody. Check out everything at StoneColdTheJackal dot com. We get lots of videos, fun stuff for you. Um, we are everywhere, and uh, we thank you for not getting tired of us just yet. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.